Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to transfer files from your iPad to your Windows PC. So the first step is on the iPad, just open up settings, tap into Wi-Fi and make sure that the Wi-Fi network on your iPad is the exact same as the Windows PC. On the Windows PC you can tap at this little icon here and you should see the Wi-Fi network. Just verify that this Wi-Fi network name is the exact same. Next, make sure if you're on any VPN, you also turn those off uh, on both devices and then also go into Wi-Fi, I, and uh, make sure configure proxy, there is no proxy set here. So once you've done this, on both devices, you're going to head over to this website, not that website, but snapdrop.net. So on both devices, head over to snapdrop.net. So we're going to do that on the Windows as well. Just load up whatever browser you would like. Head over to snapdrop.net, load it up, and if done successfully, you should see your Windows PC on the iPad and your iPad on the Windows. So what you're going to do is on the iPad itself, you're just going to tap into the, uh, the Windows icon. But before you do that, make sure you just re uh, refresh the page on both devices so that nothing uh, wrong happens. So tap on here, and then you see this one, choose files, tap into choose files. You can choose whichever file you would like on your iPad. So if I just go to on my iPad, let's say I zip here, you can see all of these files. You can tap on select, slide across to select multiple if I do that right. So uh, yeah, it's like this. It doesn't allow me to select multiple. I'm assuming that's because this folder is grayed out. But if I just go to on my iPad, downloads, let's try this. There you go, you can see now the slide over works, but if it has a grayed out option, then it won't work. So what I'll do for this, is I will select the uh, this one here, this IPA, and this SMC file. I will tap on open, and once you tap on open, it's going to transfer the files over. So you should see here, file received, you'll see ask to save each file before downloading. Uh, if you are transferring multiple files, you want to turn that off. Just turn that off, click on save. And then you can see here the .smc downloaded and the uncover downloaded as well. If you're doing this for the very first time and you're transferring multiple files, you will receive a message saying uh, snapdrop.net wants to download multiple files. Make sure you click on allow and then all the files will download without any fail. If you're still having issues, what you will have to do is either just zip up all the files on your iPad and then transfer at once. Or you have to individually you know, click on OK to download each file. And what that means is you have to have asked to download each file, uh, ticked on, and then that should solve any issues there. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.